Hey guys, it's Ken from KVD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Domic food review just for you. My daughter was in Cuba for two weeks and she decided to bring me home some cookies to try just for you. And of course, my whole family wants me to open these as quickly as possible so they can have a few of these munchies. So these are all from Brazil. Uh, I guess Cuba imports all of their cookies from Brazil, whether uh, Cuba makes their own cookies or not. I don't know. I thought these were just Cuban cookies when she first brought them out. So uh, I think there's three different companies. I think this company is called uh, Nikito or Marengo. Uh, and then we have this Tortini. And this one is from Isabella. So let me know in the comments below if you guys have ever even seen these. If you've tried them, which ones are your favorite? So let's, I want to start with this one. They have this really cool little pull off tab right here. And these ones look like they are, I can't even tell what they are. I'm thinking strawberry just because there's like a pink filling in it. Let's give it a quick shot. They've got little monkeys on them. And there's a dog on the other side. Not sure what the reference is to. Let's open this up. So it's a pink filling. It smells like strawberry ice cream actually. And the cat wants to go outside, right in the middle of my videotaping. Very nice cookie. Let's see if this one's better. This one's uh, chocolate and strawberry. And this is the, the tortini. The cat's gonna die. I just know it. So these ones look like this. So it's a chocolate biscuit and it's got like a little bit of an icing on the ins or poured into it. Tastes similar to that, but the chocolate biscuit changes it. It's kind of like a, a a regular Oreo, and the Oreos that are made with the white uh, biscuit or vanilla biscuit. Let's move on to the next one. So this is the tortini, uh, and it's the chocolate. So a white biscuit with a chocolate filling or icing inside. I think so far this one's winning. Okay, let's move on to this one. This is Tortinas, but this one for Isabella. So this is Tortini and this is from uh, Amore. And so this is Isabella, obviously different company, I guess. Everybody's just packaging their cookies the same way. I'm actually surprised they're not destroyed because my daughter brought them back on the airplane, so. I can't believe that they're still intact. So this is um, chocolate and it looks like a hazelnut. Again, the whole thing's in uh, Portuguese, I believe. And I don't speak Portuguese, so it's all a guessing game, really. So this is uh, similar to the other one, but this will probably have not only the chocolate, but the hazelnut flavor to it. I like that one. The hazelnut just turns it around. Way better than that one. And last but not least, this looks like lime and chocolate. I don't recall the last time I had lime and chocolate. It's called Moose and it's from Isabella. Oh, this is a whole cookie. Makes sense, it shows a whole cookie on it. Let's try to pull this apart. It's got a little chocolate in the middle. It's like a white vanilla biscuit. And then it's um, a mix of the white and the chocolate. They probably put the the uh, white icing on, and then dab the white or the chocolate, and then they put the top part on, and it squishes through the hole in the top. Let's give it a shot. Almost tastes like a white Oreo or vanilla Oreo 
but somebody had put uh, lime in it and a little bit of chocolate. And that's what it tasted like. So overall, this one wins. This was the uh, chocolate and the uh, hazelnut. That's my favorite. Then it'll probably go to the Nico, no, Nik Nikito, and then this one, and then the chocolate, and then last but not least would be this one here. All right, guys, so there you go. There's another food review just for you. I'd like to thank my daughter, Megan, for bringing these back from Cuba and giving me a little taste of what the Cubans get to eat for treats and what obviously people in Brazil love to eat too. All right, guys, so once again, thanks for watching KBD Productions TV. We'll talk to you next time on another Ken Domic food review. Ken out. Bye.